40 years ago this Friday, the TV frontier was won by the series debut of Star Trek. And this weekend in Toronto, our Rosie Etta joined fans old and new to celebrate the pop culture phenomena of William Shatner. We well, have a great sense of humor and a little bit offbeat as well. You never know where it's coming from. You know what I mean? Well, it's coming from the gods. William Shatner may have an in with higher powers, but this funny man is only human. I'm covered in glow yes, from yeah. being on stage. And, and it and, looks uh, very good on well, you. It's very I, good. I don't know. I needed some powder, but they don't let you on an airplane with powder anymore. The Jet Setter was in town to celebrate Star Trek's 40th anniversary with all his fans. You see all kinds of different age ranges. You right? see little children on the grandmother's knee. The grandmothers are interested in Leonard. The mm. young ladies are, I don't know. Who are they interested in? Come on, come on. Come I back, almost, come almost on. went there. And come I, on. I can't go that way. But there's really only one woman in Shatner's life. And glorious is the perfect word to describe Elizabeth Shatner. She is uh, a miracle for me. And you might find a little piece of her in his new book, The Captain's Glory. So it's a combination of biographical material and fiction. Using episodes in my life phases, transitions in my life, and giving them to Captain Kirk. I don't know who or what you are. And although this may be his last book, the Star Trek phenomenon isn't going away anytime soon. Are you interested in the new and improved Star Trek that's coming out? This new technology is the way to go. Uh, of course, they, they haven't changed the stories, have they? No, they're classics. <laughs> Rumors persist about a Star Trek prequel following Kirk and Spock at the Starfleet Academy. And who might play William Shatner's young James Kirk? The rumors say Matt Damon.